Alrighty, welcome to chapter four, lesson five, which is dividing greater numbers. The objective for this is that students will be able to divide greater numbers by using multi-digit divisors. Example one says that a large city has a total of 22,500 students that ride a bus to school. There are 75 different schools within the city. How many students are dropped off at each school if an equal number of students are dropped off at each school? So we're going to do 200, or 22,500 divided by 75. So step one is to place the first digit. We know that 225 divided by 75 equals 3. So we're going to write 3 in the quotient over the hundreds place. Step two is to multiply 75 times 3, which is equal to 225. So we're going to write that in here. And subtract 225 minus 225 is 0. So compare 0 is less than 75, so we can continue dividing. Step 3 is to divide the tens. Brought down our 0. 0 divided by 75 equals 0. So we're going to put a 0 in the quotient. 75 times 0 is 0. And subtract 0 minus 0 is 0. Complete the same, stuff, same steps for the ones place. And we are left with 0 over, so 22,500 divided by 75 equals 300. Since S is equal to 300, that means that 300 students are dropped off at each school. All right, let's move on to page 9. All right, example 2 says estimate the quotient of 46,534 and 152. Then divide. Is 36 a reasonable quotient? Explain. So we're going to estimate 45,000 divided by 150. We got that by rounding each number to get compatible numbers. Okay. As we move forward in math, you're going to find that compatible numbers are extremely important. So when we divide 45,000 divided by 150, we get 300. Alrighty, now it is time to move on to see if our estimate is reasonable. So we have 46,534 divided by 152. Our first step is to place the first digit. 465 divided by 152 is approximately 3. So we're going to write 3 over the hundreds and multiply. 152 times 3 is equal to 456. So we can write that in and subtract 465 minus 456, which equals 9. 9 is less than 52, so we can continue dividing. Bring down our 3, and we have 93. Next, we need to divide the tens place. 93 is not divisible by 152, so we're going to put a 0 in the quotient over the tens place, which means we subtract 0, bring down 93, bring down our 4, so we have 934. We need to divide the ones place. 934 divided by 152 is approximately 6. So we're going to write a 6 up here. 152 times 6 is 912. When you do 934 minus 912, you're left with 22. 22 is less than 152. So it looks like we did our problem correctly. We have a remainder of 22. Okay, now you can check your answer using multiplication like we have been doing in the past. Um, just to save time on the video, I'm not going to do that. But as you do your practice problems, um, go ahead and check with multiplication to make sure you're on the right track. To check our answer here, so since the estimate is 300 and the actual quotient is 306 and 22 over 152, a quotient of 36 is not a reasonable answer. Alrighty, for your own problems tonight, I'd like you to do guided practice number one, and then independent practice numbers two, three, four, and five. We'll check those tomorrow in class.